In 1886, the historic Plan of Olana was created by Frederick Church's son, Frederick Joseph Church. The plan depicts the totality of Olana as a landscape composition, including the approximate locations of all buildings and structures, the winding contours of the carriage roads, woodland and meadow areas, the lake, and different agricultural zones within the larger farm. This large watercolor drawing fully documents Frederick Church's entire vision for Olana's 250 acres. Yet there is one mystery, a structure labeled Summer House, located on an open knoll between Olana's main house and the lake. Olana State Historic Site lacks documentary evidence to describe what this structure looked like. From Olana's summer house location, one could view the lake below, as well as Church's Persian-inspired house above. The main house windows are all different shapes and carefully frame naturalistic views. In 1871, Church wrote, The house will be a curiosity in architecture, and the picture from each window will be really marvelous. The main house also has several open rooms and outdoor living spaces, which further connected the Church family with nature. There is a half round porch facing west and a windowed studio tower room on the second floor. A long open piazza stretches across the studio wing, providing southern and western views. The ombra is a recessed loggia, which frames Olana's iconic Hudson River view from the central court hall. The bell tower is an open air room above the second floor bedrooms, providing sublime views through brick arches. At the very top of the house, accessible through a trap door and crowned with four Japanese teapots, is Olana's crow's nest, with 360 degree views of the greater Hudson Valley region and beyond. In the 19th century, the writer Mark Twain, Church's friend, described Olana as the exalted hill of art. The meadows at Olana are also an aesthetic component within a larger design. Their open space provides contrast within Olana's landscape garden, and these fields change throughout the year. Today, New York State Parks monitors these meadows for invasive species so that native species can thrive. 